don't, I don't think they'll all be judged quite the same. Um, I think institutions like the, the World Bank, the IMF, um, and, and the WTO uh, will probably be just judged pretty harshly um, in history as, um, as really uh, imperialistic, uh, anti-democratic institutions um, that, that are tools of exploitation for a very narrow slice of, of the global population. Um, and, uh, uh, and I have very little doubt that that's how they'll be judged in history. I think the, um, the historical legacy of the UN uh, is probably a little more fuzzy um, because uh, I think history will, will recognize that um, there, are, there are people involved in the UN um, and, and people who pursue um, change through the UN um, that are doing it in good faith. Um, I think they'll see that there are people uh, pursuing the UN process um, with, with a genuine concern for justice um, and that that's perhaps misguided, um, but, but that it's at least in good faith. Um, uh, I, I think it's very hard. It's very hard for me to see how history would look back on uh, any actors within the World Bank or the IMF as, as doing that work in good faith. Um, that uh, I, I think it'd be hard for history to interpret uh, any of those actors as being concerned with anything other than uh, exploitation and greed.